I've compiled a list of the most common questions. Do you have names for the twins? What is in me, a unicorn? Because I've had a boy and I've had a girl and I've never been so sick. Are you sticking with H name? Can you plan for a vaginal delivery? I'm down for throwing a poll out there and letting you guys decide on one of the names. Welcome back to Hanging with the Haters. I have anything in my nose. <laughs> I literally just asked him before this, we turned this thing on. I was like, everything in my nose goes You hear how stuffy it is? Thank you all that have reached out after our last video. It uh, was revealing we shocked. identical twins. Oh my gosh, we're gonna find out. Mono what? It's identical. Mono, is it mono cor coriolanic? It's identical. <laughs> Are you kidding? Honestly, the chance of having identical tw twins is what is it? One in 250 pregnancies per person. So it's 0.5% of, of twin pregnancies. No, of pregnancies. Oh, really? Th those are, so it's 0.5% chance to have identical twins in your pregnancy. And then I've researched, like I It researched, doesn't run in a family. It does not run in family. And I researched and boys are even more rare than girls. And so when I had a boy first, I was like, well, I mean, because fraternal runs in my family. And so I was like, of course this is fraternal. And I really, my sister and my brother are twins and they're fraternal. And um, I thought for sure I would have a boy and a girl, just like my mom and like my sister <laughs> and my brother. And so it was the shock of a lifetime to get identical. I have zero twins in my family. So yeah. this was a, a shock after. And honestly, all twins and all babies are ginormous blessings. And I'm, I would have been thankful for just one. But like the fact that I prayed, I mean, I was like, if I get to, you know, we pray for what we want in life. And so I was like, if I get to seek out, and this is my best advice to you. Ask truly, the universe. Is like to truly think about what you really want in life and then go after it. Like, don't be so shy. Like, I mean, ask and it will be given to you. And and so I was like, you know, if I, we are trying to grow our family, I really want a lot of kids. He wanted to stop at three and I was like, God, if you give me twins and- I won't have a choice. If they're identical, that'd be awesome. And and I, you know, I just envisioned being a girl mom. So I did, you know, ask for girls, but God knew what I needed and I needed boys. And so I'm so thankful <laughs> and blessed. But yes. honestly, every baby is a blessing and every, every twin pregnancy is amazing. More importantly though, the results that came back uh, did show that it is low risk. I mean, um, that made me lose everything, it because everything. Because this is the other thing that makes me feel like this pregnancy. Because she's super old, like geriatric. <laughs> <laughs> this other thing about this pregnancy, though, is that I. It was so hard to get this pregnancy, and they, you know, there's just so many reasons. And they said fraternal is more common if you're older, like you'll drop an extra egg or something. And so I was like, first of all, my doctor said I had like low to normal egg count, and so I'm like, I'm not, I'm not sure how many eggs I have to drop because and a possible blocked fallopian tube. Well, or no, it was def it was tube. blocked. He showed yeah. us on the scan. We had a scan done, the fertility doctor, and so there's just so many reasons that we're very, very thankful, and I feel like these these twins are such a blessing from God. I mean, every baby is, but. For us, I'm just like incredibly thankful, and I'm sure for everyone. Really, yes, but. and thank you to all of you that have subscribed. Oh uh, yes, thank you so much. We're gonna be documenting this whole journey. Of course, yes. And uh, for this video, we wanted to give back a little something because so many people have been reaching out, and thank you for your support. Thank and you prayers so much. And and all the following. comments and DMs. And yes, we wanted to put together a little Q and A um, because we're learning about identical twins oh. uh, as some of you are. We're learning um, about twins. Like I'm like my mom had fraternal general, yeah. twins. She told me that runs in the family. She said also it would skip a generation typically I guess it skips is what she said and so I wasn't expecting it to none of us kids my I have four siblings none of us were expecting <laughs> it to happen in our lifetime and then here I am and my mom was like there's no I text my mom to tell her and she was like my mom is like so funny because she's never like oh congratulations she's yeah. just like you know she just was like oh, I tell her I'm marrying a stranger she goes oh honey you're gonna be a beautiful bride oh, great yeah and I was like that's Okay, awesome. that's great, mom. Thanks. And um, and so when I told her I had identical twins, she said, "Oh, that doesn't run in our family. <laughs> like mm -hmm. that's never happened in our family." Yeah, which but, I was surprised about. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I've compiled a list of the most common questions that I've gotten from my Instagram subscribers. And we want to give you a little. And shout I want to give you a shout out because I appreciate those of you who reach out to me, and I just it really means a lot to me. It's been so fun to go through this pregnancy with you. And then I also have a couple from my regular Instagram uh, where I just threw out a question box cool. and so um, without further ado we'll start off answering your questions this one comes from Alino 
Uh, this is my handwriting, and I, I pulled out all. Of, I went through every single one of your your questions in the question box. She writes and like I a doctor. And I pulled out the most common ones. They they, they must teach this handwriting in, in med school. <laughs> Alichno, Alino, Alinochka. Zero eight eight five. Yes. Are you planning to get a, a bigger house? to accommodate the large family you created. That was the very first question that came in and I just had to answer it because I was like, wow, you're right on top of it. Um, so we, this is the biggest house we've ever lived in. I lived in a trailer, a three bedroom trailer um, with, you know, with four siblings. And at one point my stepdad lived with us. So two parents and four siblings. So there was five of us kids in two bedrooms. And honestly, you don't need that trailer was everything that we needed at like that my mom could afford and that we needed at that time. Yeah. And so I don't care how big your house is, you can have any size home. However, yes. we did want to get a big we did the whole I like tried going back to my roots and did the RV thing and living in a trailer. She and didn't like it. No wonder why my mom went a little crazy with all of us kids in that small house because it's hard. And that was only with two kids. So we're thankful that we we did already buy a home. This home right here behind us is our forever yeah. home, and um, it was it was purchased uh, in anticipation of growing. Yeah, we wanted. I was like trying everything to like you know kind of put this pregnancy in place, and then yeah, we're blessed with it. So <laughs> the next one comes from uh, Ken's, my true love, who writes, "Do you feel different?" Uh, now with a twin pregnancy than a singleton pre uh, pregnancy. And if you didn't know now, would you suspect, twi suspect twins? Honestly, I have never thrown up and felt nauseous and been more tired in my life. That's like true. truly never. I mean, I could, the drop, I think I'm gonna be fine. I feel great. And then so I'll smell something or I'll like, Eat, like I'll drink water and just water will touch my my or like gag reflex. The vitamin taste or something. I mean, uh, I mean, I drink. I now I drink my vitamins with either on a smoothie. If I if I haven't had the chance to make the smoothie, that like I use a certain prenatal smoothie supplement. Or if I'm like if I missed it that day and I have to take the vitamins, I, I drink them with milk because I will throw up. And also, I just gotta show you like right now, like in the mornings, it's not that pregnant. It's not like looking that big. Does it look big? I felt like today it looks Starting, big. Yeah. I'm 16 weeks pregnant. It's getting more round. And I've never been this big at 16 weeks pregnant. Like this, I think I was like at least five or six months this mm -hmm. pregnant with yeah. both Henley and Hendrix. This is definitely bigger. This next one comes from uh, at Doug Hainer. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. Who writes, um, does the thought of twins and two kids stress you out? <laughs> um, Four kids with no family nearby to help. What are we going to do? Honestly, I meditate every single night. I literally, I like just, I try my best to meditate. I've even gotten my kids now to listen to sleep stories before they go to bed because it really helps meditation. And then this guy. You've gotten me into. I have, so we did this Tony Robbins thing, of, like for our, actually our anniversary. Every anniversary we've ever celebrated, we've gone to a beach and tried to just have some time alone together. This anniversary, you know, we've overcome a lot of obstacles in our marriage. And if you followed us for a long time, you know about like drugs and like the question of cheating. And 10 just, years, just a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff has happened. We've lost a baby together. We've gone through a lot. And mm -hmm. so I was like, for our 10 year anniversary, there's this thing called UPW for Tony Robbins. And mm -hmm. my friend did it and she just said it was amazing. And so I'm like, why don't we do that instead? And, and so a, a lot of what I've come to learn, and I, I mean, we all know the benefits of meditating um, and, and breathing and focus. And it really wasn't drilled into my mind until we went to um, or sat in for that conference. Um, Jamie visualizes, Jamie does sleep meditations and you know, by default, I'm listening to them. Yeah, because he's know, in bed with me. <laughs> with, and someone, someone with ADHD, um, distractions can happen. You don't know, especially as a beginner, you don't know if your meditations are working or if you're meditating the right way. You don't know how to track it. You don't know, you don't, you don't get that feedback or the results. One thing that has helped me out tremendously is right here. We got a Muse headband, which is a sleep and meditation headband. It's a headband that tracks your brain waves. So it has this EEG technology that's gonna be able to track your brain waves, your stillness, your breathing, and your heart rate. Now through the Muse app, they have these guided meditations. So it literally connects to your phone and it will tell you like what your heart rate is. And then like, for example, yesterday, like 
dog's heart rate was whatever it was. He I'm literally showed me this. And then the dog started barking, and of course his heart rate went up. Yeah. When I do these guided meditations, I would sit there and breathe, and then the doorbell would ring, or the dog would bark. And then when I look back at the data, I could see those spikes. So what this is teaching me, and it, what it's doing is changing my habits. So if you get triggered by a certain response, or sound, or person, things like that, this is going to teach you to breathe, to calm yourself. I've been meditating now for years, and this is amazing to be able to get actual feedback into your meditation. The different categories of the biofeedback meditations are body, to remain calm and still, heart rate to help you learn how to lower your heart rate, I also do breathing exercises to help you learn how to energize or calm down your body. To check out Muse, go ahead and click on the link that's in the description. When you click on the link, you'll get 15% off the Muse headband. Highly recommend it for couples, uh, if you're looking to meditate, beginners or expert level. Again, the link is in the description below. And yeah, you'll get 15% off, so go ahead and shoot on down there and tap that link. I could see the future with this. Okay, let's get back to some more questions. This was the most common question from uh, Adri Biomes, from Britt Donato, Sandra Geyer, Sammy's Girl 559. Yeah, I pulled out a, a lot of you who, it was yeah. very common. <laughs> Do you have names for the twins? And Andre Biom said she's a new subscriber from New Mexico. So yes, I want to say welcome. welcome and thank you for subscribing to my Instagram account. Yes. I love catching up with you guys. So we, oh God, names are hard. I said if these are both boys, I'm in trouble because. Yeah, we had some girl names. We had out. a ton of girl names. Like I really loved Hope. I loved, I liked Havana a lot. I liked, I loved Haven so much. I loved, I mean, Hannah, my daughter really likes Hannah. Doug yes. likes Hannah. Um, there's I so like, many great H I like names Haven for girls. And, and Hope. <laughs> yeah, and you know, and yeah. honestly, someone said that you could name a boy Haven, and I'm like, is that too? Yeah, I, I don't guess. know. Like don't so, know. someone said, that apparently it actually. I think Ruth told me that it was actually originally a boy's name before it was a female's name, and I was like, oh, Haven. Ooh. I love that kind of. So, I'm down for throwing a poll out there and letting you guys decide on one of the names. I think that we need to decide, Doug. These are our kids. <laughs> like, That'd be fun. I as much know. as I love you, I think we need to name our own kids. I love, I love you, and I love you. But I so think... we don't have names yet, but yeah. we we will be putting but together. I some. do love your recommendations because it gives me ideas. And so I, so those of you who have just been reaching out, sending us messages, mm -hmm. thank you so much because there's a few like Hollis I never even thought of, and oh, yeah. and um, someone commented Hollis, and I was like, wow, that's a I did like that really one too. Nice I saw that name. comment. Yeah. So Jamie. Dawn Ramirez seven writes, are you sticking with H names for twins? She's been racking her brain. Yeah, that's so sweet. Thank you we for are. helping us. We, are, Doug really wants to stick with the H names. And I figured people, why not? Yeah. yeah, and some people said, oh, you should go with Jane for like Jonathan and, but honestly, Jonathan, I love Jonathan being special and by yeah. himself. Like he deserves that. And, um, and also I don't want Henley or Hendrix to feel like the twins are, you know, I'm trying so hard to make sure that, that all my kids know that they're equally loved. And Jonathan does deserve to be to stand out and be special yeah. because he's not here with us. He's in heaven. And so, so we're probably yeah. going to stick with H names. So Lori Colosimo Bailey writes, what kind of mascara do you use? Okay. So I don't use any. <laughs> I get this question literally all the time. Oh, and that was for you. I think that it's because my lashes, I mean, so I brought it out to just show you. I don't work with them or anything, but this is called Thrive Cosmetics, and it's I really like it a lot. So um, yeah, highly recommend. I've also used Better Than Sex though, and I've used I've used all sorts of different mascaras in the past, and a cheaper disclaimer, one, mascara is not better than sex. <laughs> but a cheaper option is um, the Pink Tube by L'Oreal. I forget what it's called, but you can get it at any drugstore like Walmart, Target. It's the pink tube by L'Oreal and it has black writing on it. Kathy Warzala also asked about that, so. Um, yeah, I get a lot of questions about my lashes. Thank you, that makes me feel feel good. Now we're done with my subscriber section. Okay. I just wanted to give them all shout outs. And then here's a few questions from my regular Instagram. So Mommy Ovendorf writes, will the twins have their own nursery after they leave your room? And also Mrs. 100717 said, a theme. What's, a theme. What, what Think, theme. I couldn't read my own handwriting. I'm like, what does that say? <laughs> we are changing our our office into a nursery because it's close mm -hmm. to our bedroom. We're not much office type people, although we do record our podcast in there. So that, then we're gonna have to figure out where we're gonna yeah. put our podcast. Yeah. So because it's the closest room to our bedroom. But let me tell you, I wish I could go give you a behind the scenes. It's just like got books and st like boxes from storage. Mm -hmm. we're, we're still kind of moving into this house, and so we have like boxes from storage and yeah. things that just 
don't really have a home that I really just need to go through and send some things to Goodwill, I'm actually probably gonna give some things to those of you watching and, and if you're on my Instagram, just as I go through things, I'm gonna start just like offering them, like for example, it's like- It's not junk or used stuff. No, it's like, it's good stuff, but yeah. like I gotta get rid of it because I gotta make room for these twins. Sandy Claus writes, what's happening with your book? Are you still doing a vow renewal? Sandy Claus, this is a great question because great question. I am so close to having that book done. I was in the editing stage and I was halfway through editing the book and I got, like I was, I was still doing it even while I was pregnant in my first trimester, but then I started getting so sick. And then the, honestly what happened was that lump, I don't know if you remember, but if you rewind back, like, or go back to a few, rewind back. Rewind. Uh, if you go back a few um, episodes of our YouTube channel, we, like very early on, the do nine weeks pregnant, the doctor said that there was a lump on baby One e. of our first uh, real ultrasounds. Yeah, so. and she, it was the first ultrasound with the doctors, and she showed me the lump, and she was, you know, she, she said, don't catastrophize this, but it, this is concerning, and we're gonna send you to the high-risk doctor. And of course, what did I do? I went and Googled and c catastrophized it, and mm -hmm. I was like, uh, oh my, like I just, you know, yeah. I just, I, I've heard so much how old I am and how my eggs are bad and how we really should do IVF so they can check to make sure that it's- And a twin so pregnancy just, comes with some risks. Yeah, yeah. And, and so anyways, I was like, oh man, this isn't good. And I was literally crying le like all day, every day. My poor daughter saw me crying and I'm trying not to like let my, I don't, I just want them to not have to be affected by that, but that's life and that's mm -hmm. human nature. And the like, book process it just took stopped. a pause. Yeah. It just, I was like, I have to pause that because I'm so stressed mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that these babies are okay. And then also the vow renewal. We were so excited to do a 10 year vow renewal. This is our 10 year mm -hmm. anniversary. Yeah. Who would have thought we'd still be making babies at 10 years later? Right, like, 10 years later. <laughs> it's been hard to grow this family. But anyways, um, and if any of you watched the uh, the the special that was on Married at First Sight, um, yes, you know, I got a vow renewal ring. Yeah, uh, we were like reproposed to really Jamie sweet. for ten years. I don't even and, wear it. I barely wear any. This is my original Married at First Sight wedding band. Mm -hmm. I wear that. But as you can see, like every band makes my finger sensitive. Yep. I don't know if that happens to anyone else when they're pregnant. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we that's also put on hold, and I and I really still wanted to do it, but we, we might combine that with a baby moon. Honestly, we if, I wanted to make it a big celebration. But I know I did too. But I don't we think it's are, in the cards. Now. Yeah, we have to work on the nursery. We have 25 weeks, and that's only and that's if they make it to term. That and, is crazy. And all the doctors are saying expect to go early. Mm -hmm. Everybody who's ever had twins says expect to go early. So, anyways, yeah. we the vow renewal has been put on hold, and then the book. I am finishing that book though. Like I am absolutely finishing that book because I there's not a chance in Hades that I'll be able to write a book <laughs> while I have two newborn babies. So I'm finishing that book and I'm gonna get that out as soon as I possibly can. So stay tuned for that. D, D, R, 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 or is it D? Well, I think it might be own Rios. D, N, R, I, O, S, 78. She says, mm. can you plan for a vaginal delivery? Yes. And honestly, I wanted to do another home birth. Let me tell you, I did it natural with Hendrix and it was it was a lot. It was an awful lot. And I, I know that there's a better way to do it. I was in, so proud I was in a lot of though. fear with Hendrix. And so the fear only anti like intensifies pain. And so it caused me to be, have a lot of pain as well. I have so much respect for you. Oh, yeah, thank you. That. Like, thank that you. Is, yeah, any, I mean, giving birth in general, I mean, you know, guys aren't built for it. I don't think guys <laughs> could do it. Um, but something like that is just. Yeah, that was really painful. But I think it was, that if, it was special. If I had just eased my own fears, um, I think a doula would be amazing. But with twins, I'm like, I just am too, yeah. I'm a little too worried that there's gonna be a shoulder or something. And so I know for sure that they plan on having me deliver in the OR, which is super safe. And I'm thankful to already know case, that. Right? Because I think that I would have probably, it would have been like really stressful if they were like, oh, we're going to the OR. I would have went, yeah. why? <laughs> but that's just very common. It's very normal. It's very safe. But you are gonna try for a, I, I well, this is the dirt. thing is the doctor said, well, if you have an epidural, it's easier, God forbid something happens and you need a C-section, yeah. it's easier to give you the medication. Otherwise they can put you under and that's yeah. just not as healthy for the mom. And so I'm like, I don't know what to do. Anyways, those are my thoughts. We're definitely doing, I'm hoping to do vaginal, <laughs> like without a doubt, I do not yeah. want a C-section. 
but I'm also, I really just want two healthy babies and to stay healthy myself. So yes. whatever the doctors recommend. That is it for the most common questions. Let me know if you like doing the Q and A. This is a little different style than we have been doing, but I thought it was really fun to be able to just straight up talk to you and connect with you and answer your questions. I hope you loved it. Thank you again so much for those of you who have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Yes. It's absolutely free and we love that you're here. And leave your comments, like the video. Yes, we literally, when we post this at 8 p.m. on Monday night, I like make sure the kids are sleeping or in their bedroom at least trying to sleep. And then I'm like right on the comments answering yours. And so we love, love, love hearing from you. Thank you yes. so much for those of you who are really following along and, and keeping us, keeping up with us on our journey. Yes, and we'll see you next week. Yay! Bye. Alino Alichno uh Alino D D Re Rios or is it D? Oh, I think it might be Own Rios. No. No, that's definitely oh. a D. I can't read my own handwriting. I'm so sorry.